Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts. Today we're going to review a pimp gun. Yes, a stainless 45. Unload, show clear. Now, Mr. 45 is a special member of my family, and I'm going to tell you why. This gun, on several occasions, has saved my life. It stopped home invasions, euthanized pets, stopped a carjacking back when my dad used to carry it. It's been in my family since 1994. Now, this is a heavy little chunk right here. It weighs about 49 ounces. It weighs about the same as stainless steel uh, Desert Eagle does, I believe. It was made by Laser Am Arms Company, a subsidiary of the Wyoming Parker. And... It's been my family since 1994. My dad bought it brand new from a gun shop in Coeur d'Alene that's still there, and they ran Cabela's off. So, like, family-owned gun shops? Thumbs up. But, the history of this design of firearm traces back over a hundred years to the Colt 1900 series of pistols all the way up to the 1911. And by the time I got this gun... It's a single stack, 45 holds eight rounds, seven plus one. It's a little long in the tooth. You know, one thing I do not care for on this handgun is the safety. Now, this safety is a hammer block type, right? But it does make easy enough to make the gun safe. Now, you can activate said safety, right? Very easy. But on the same note, when you're carrying this thing, especially in your belt buckle, it, even if you carry around in the chamber with this handgun, you really, really, really want to watch the trigger. Because, number one, the trigger guard is long. And number two, the trigger pull is very, very light. So, if you're not careful, you're going to blow, blow your hog off. Or your uh, leg. Now, this gun has lived under my pillow loaded for years. And, and I kid you not, I've had this gun since high school when I bought it from Dad. It was the first real full-size handgun I learned to shoot on and then carried. And even when I used to actually be a pimp at one point in time, yes, I actually was a pimp. I used to uh, make sure the ladies didn't get hurt. This gun right here was the one that came with me. So it saved quite a few people's lives over the years. And uh, I can't prove it. But when it was stolen for a year and I had to get it back from the FBI, of all people, uh, they ran a lot of ballistic tests on this gun trying to tie it to some crimes that Dad might have committed. So it's been a special member of my family for a lot of years. And I have a couple extra magazines for it. These Chip McCormick's fitted okay. Of course, they're always hot and ready to go because that's the way a handgun needs to be stowed in the loaded, cocked, and ready position. Although on this, since it's a single action only, semi-automatic, uh, I generally keep the hammer on half cock to lock the action up. And if I need it, I can just thumb the hammer and get ready to go. Of course, when I carry this thing, I generally keep the hammer block on it. As, as I said, I, I'm not fond of the idea of blowing my dick off this thing. Yes, I know I should get a better holster for it, but I don't carry it much anymore. It's... Um, it's just kind of for, relegated for ceremonial and duty use. Like, if my house were on fire, this is the one thing I would grab as I ran out the door. Because at the end of the day, when I become a freedom stain, this gun is probably going to be kicked in the hole with me when I leave. So, um, fun side note about the Colt family of handguns that this gun traces its lineage back to. They were in service from, like, 1911 all the way to the mid-1980s when the good old M9 replaced it and took on two Gulf Wars. <sighs> Let's see. I think I've about covered this in great detail enough. Um, I'm doing a collab with Blind Sniper and possibly others. So if you don't know who they are, check out their YouTube channels. Blind Sniper, uh, 8mm Mauser Dude, Great Northwest Weaponry, Guns, Guns, Gear and Gun with Deary Gunderson. Um, the list goes on, man. Gun channels rock, firearms rock, freedom rocks. 10 out of 10, highly recommend if you get a chance to handle one of these or even buy one. Fucking buy it. 
Um, it looks a lot like an auto mag, and my theory is that auto mag bought out the patent for this gun. That's about the, the farthest I've traced it. <laughs> and uh, all in all, like I, I recommend everybody get a stainless Mr. 45, you know, because you just might need a face remover someday. Uh, side note, get some proper carry ammunition. These 185 grainers work like a champ. Like when they hit shit, it don't get back up. And, you know, even in the modern age of double stack 9mm handguns, I'm wearing one right now, right? If you don't believe me, always ready to bust them caps. The single stack 45, while it's a relegated kind of, you know, uh, ceremonial use type thing or a, you know, a second line handgun or a target handgun... They'll still pay the bills, man. Like, there are a lot of people that still carry the old FUD stick around with them, the old 1911, and a lot of similar guns to it. But the Browning Tilting Breach Action, man, and uh, it's like a delayed blowback semi-automatic, you know, it, it's hard to beat. Like, even still, to this day, like, if I had to choose between this or my 9mm, like, if I'm going to be not moving around very much... Or if I'm going to be like, you know, in a stationary place, that's the handgun I'm grabbing. And as always, if you don't like what I have to say about being a pimp, um, drinking too much in the nighttime, playing with my handgun, and somewhat cleaning it after I'm done, you can eat my fucking shorts. And have a fantastic day, and uh, fun collab, dude.